The evolution of morality. Evolution, as in the biological sense, is survival, adaptation, and propagation. Survival of the most adaptable. Not the survival of the fittest. A common misconception. Morality is an evolutionary trait, and can be defined as the interplay between self, group, society, and species. So, generally speaking, that which benefits yourself to the detriment of society is considered evil. And that which benefits society to the detriment of yourself, as in the noble sacrifice for the greater good of your group or society, is considered good. This is based upon in humans both instinctual or genetic and reasoned behaviour patterns. Were in, say, bacteria, the noble sacrifice for the greater good, I believe it would be safe to say that this behaviour pattern is purely instinctual or genetic. Links below for an article on kamikaze bacteria. More subtle moral behaviour patterns, which can simply be described as evolutionarily successful behaviour patterns, have also been observed in a number of social animals. Links below. Which is hardly surprising, as we all share the same genetic lineage at one point or another. Like all evolutionary traits, variabilities will occur. So a sense of morality or a pattern of moral behaviour will vary between individuals. And as humans are not just individuals but an integral part of a social group, a sense of morality or a pattern of moral behaviour will also vary between social groups. And with all evolutionary traits, it is not nature or nurture, as the interplay between both happens simultaneously as genetically inherited traits will influence behavioural responses, and behavioural responses will influence gene expression. This is an ongoing continuous evolutionary process. Although we would like to consider reason-conscious decisions, and not subconscious instinctual behaviour patterns, the overriding factor in that which drives our behaviour. This is not necessarily true. The sheer number of obese people in the West is testament to the conscious decision-making being being subtly overridden by subconscious desires or behaviour patterns. Morality itself has and will continue to evolve. That is, that which was socially acceptable in the past is no longer considered socially acceptable today. So, in summary, remembering variabilities between groups and individuals will occur. You have a sense of right and wrong, partly because of your guardians and social teachings, and partly because this successful social behaviour pattern is quite literally hardwired into your head. You can thank the noble sacrifice of your bacterial ancestry for this. But, although your general sense of morality is hardwired, it remains somewhat adaptable, depending upon your circumstances, which can lead to cognitive dissidence. You can thank mindless evolution for that. A full transcription and links are available in the description box. Have fun.